Numerous experts advised Tyson Fury not to accept the rematch because he would lose again, and it is official that he will heed their advice and not challenge Usyk once more. Even worse for Fury is the fact that even if he wins the rematch, he won't surpass Usyk as the undisputed heavyweight. Let's examine this. Expert in boxing Johnny Nelson is concerned that Tyson Fury may withdraw from his forthcoming rematch with Alexander Usyk. Although the rematch is set for December 21 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Nelson believes Fury won't fight again as long as Usyk is around because he is finding it difficult to accept his loss in May. Fury lost the undisputed heavyweight title to Usyk via split decision in May, his first professional defeat. Nelson believes Fury won't follow through because it's the biggest fight of his career. After watching recent footage of Tyson Fury online, Nelson became increasingly alarmed. The video showed the 6'9 boxer being led by security out of a pub in Durham last Friday. Fury looked to be staggering and eventually fell to his knees outside, hitting his head on a lamppost during an interview. A moment later, Johnny Nelson defended Tyson Fury, saying that he was just a man who went out for a drink and got drunk, which isn't necessarily wrong or illegal. Nelson hypothesized that Fury's actions in the video, when he was seen falling and hurting his head, might have something to do with his loss. Three weeks prior, he feels that Fury is beginning to come to terms with the loss. Additionally, Nelson made hints that this incident validated rumors about Fury's boxing future. According to Nelson, Fury's loss has had a profound effect on him, and he may even decide to retire because he is finding it difficult to deal with the setback. Fury is unlikely to face Alexander Usyk in the planned rematch or at any other time. Johnny, according to Nelson, Tyson Fury won't get back into the ring as long as Alexander Usyk is still boxing. Fury can't face the thought of meeting Usyk again. Fury may seem to be handling things casually, but Nelson emphasizes that the loss has had a significant impact on him. The question of whether Fury might suffer a mental health decline, similar to what happened after his victory over Vladimir Klitschko in 2015, was also posed to Nelson. At that time, Fury struggled with weight gain and turned to drugs and alcohol, but he was able to turn his life around and make a remarkable comeback. The Skyports analyst believes that Fury is at risk of experiencing a similar mental health crisis and emphasizes that those around him shouldn't undervalue his struggles. Nelson maintains that Fury needs help during this difficult period, as well as someone who actually listens to him. At last, someone recognized the battle for what it truly was. The fact that Fury was outmatched and likely only won three or four rounds indicates how out of touch he may be. If Usyk had been the one against the ropes and the referee had saved the bell, the fight would have been stopped. Fury may have been watching the fights replayed and realized how outmatched he was, which could account for why he went to the pub and claimed to have won and blamed his loss on sympathy for the war. Tyson Fury has received a warning that a rematch with Alexander Usyk could result in yet another loss. Fury lost to Usyk last month despite controlling the first half of the fight. Usyk regained his rhythm in the second half and almost stopped Fury, who finally prevailed on points. Fury had hoped to become the first undisputed heavyweight world champion in 25 years. In their forthcoming rematch on December 21st, Alexander GK, a member of USK's squad, is optimistic that the Ukrainian will prevail once more. According to Kosik, Usyk will be even more dominant in the upcoming bout because once he gains the upper hand, he won't let it go. As a result, Usyk should go into the rematch with more confidence. Some people think that Fury ought to fight Anthony Joshua instead since in their first fight, Usyk performed better than Fury both inside and outside the ring. Fury also didn't exhibit his typical aggression and confidence. Despite being seen in poor shape while on, on the town recently, Fury assured his fans that he is not considering retirement in a new training video. Fury appeared nervous and less confident during the fight while Usyk showed why he is the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Fury stated that he is getting ready for his redemption match against Usyk, admitting his mistakes from the previous battle and vowing to fix them. Returning to the gym, Fury is marking the days leading up to December 21st, when he hopes to win the undisputed title and regain his position. 
Only five weeks after winning the heavyweight boxing championship, for the first time in almost 25 years, Alexander Usyk has relinquished a belt. Usyk defeated Tyson Fury on May 18 via split decision, adding the WBC title to his collection of WBA, WBO, and IF titles. However, Usyk has since vacated his IF belt. This belt may be up for grabs in the upcoming fight between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois. Dubois is the mandatory challenger for the IF and is expected to face Joshua at Wembley Stadium on September 21. Usyk addressed Joshua Dubois in a video message, acknowledging the significance of the IVF title to them. Usyk had initially requested to keep his IF belt so that the undisputed title would be on the line for his rematch with Fury on December 21. However, per IF rules, Usyk had to be stripped of the title if he did not fight their mandatory Cho Lennox Lewis of Britain, was the last undisputed heavyweight champion before Usyk, in 1999, during the three-belt era preceding the WBO title's official recognition in 2007. Tyson, according to Fury's manager Spencer Brown, who speaks with him frequently, Anthony Joshua had expressed satisfaction that he had prevented Fury from becoming the undisputed heavyweight champion. Fury, on the other hand, is not concerned about this as he is currently enjoying life with his family and wants to move on from boxing. He has been spending time with his kids on days out and on various holidays, and he is not worried about his rematch with Alexander Usyk losing its status as an undisputed heavyweight title fight. Although the belts are important, Brown clarified that Tyson views the rematch as just another fight and is determined to win. Tyson views the rematch with Usyk as the second half of a game that they are currently winning zero down. Tyson respects U6's team and believes they are the best in the world. However, he is confident that Fury will win this time. Brown emphasized that Tyson's primary goal is to win the fight. He is very driven and committed to getting back his title ship for Fury. For him, it is no longer about glory or money, but rather about proving himself and regaining what he feels is rightly his. Tyson and his team have already begun discussing what went wrong in the first fight and how to improve. They believe that Tyson can perform 25 to 50 percent better in this fight. Brown is confident that Tyson will win the rematch easily, understanding what to expect from Usyk this time despite the challenges posed by Usyk's exceptional team. Fury has what it takes to emerge. Tyson is currently in good spirits, laughing and joking. He has taken his defeat well. Now that we're ahead, the only thing on our minds is taking out Usyk. Other conflicts won't be discussed until this obstacle has been over.